What's up everybody? Welcome back to Sassy Gonna Eat. Today I'm gonna show you how to get this amazing scrambled hash using old potatoes. So here are some potatoes that I cooked earlier on Sunday and they were left over and I wanted to use them to make another dish so we can repurpose the food. I'm also gonna put sausage and egg and make um, a sort of hash. So these are the ingredients. You need your butter, get your pan. So right now I'm gonna take um, the potatoes and microwave them for about two minutes to soften them up a bit. Then you wanna add your butter to your pan with your sausage and start to saute those. So you wanna saute those, let some of the juices come out, let a nice color get to it. And then we're going to add our hash. Now that our sausage has its beautiful color, we're going to add our potatoes. I know I said hash, but I meant potatoes. You're gonna add your potatoes. I start to smash the potatoes just a little um, in order to make them a little bit flatter so we can get a nice sear on these potatoes to make them into a hash. So I smash them just a little bit and I'm gonna show you how you want your potatoes to look with a little bit of color on them, a little bit of color seared on your potatoes. If you would like to see more videos on how to repurpose leftovers, like, comment, subscribe, and share this video. Now let's continue. how beautiful this is turning out this is how ultimately how you would want it to look so I'm gonna give it a few more toss and I'm gonna take it out my pan I'm gonna add butter to the pan back to the pan and add my eggs we're going to do some scrap of eggs don't mind that piece of yolk it was a little frozen so we just discarded that so we're going to cook our eggs on eat all of this is cooked on medium heat because you don't want your fire too high or you will burn your ingredients and don't nobody want no food that tastes burnt so what i'm going to do with the eggs is as it turn a little white on the sides i'm going to pull it towards the middle and i'm going to keep pulling it like i said you want your fire low enough that way your egg doesn't cook too fast some people like their eggs to be fried we want a little bit softness so we can have a difference in texture amongst the food that you're eating i'm a texture person i don't like everything to be the same texture can't be too mushy can't be too hard it has to be just right so also i want to mention i did not i add little to no salt to my eggs why because if you think the sausage already has salt in it the potatoes were already seasoned from another meal so there was salt on those also you don't want to end up giving yourself high blood pressure by adding too much salt so we're also adding cheese at the end of this and cheese also has salt in it so you want to pull back on the salt don't add any salt to your eggs trust me it has enough salt in it already Now, after your eggs are almost completely cooked, you want to add your hash and sausage back to the pan and mix it in with the eggs. Incorporate those together. And like I said, there's already enough salt and the other ingredients. Please don't add any more salt. I'm trying to keep you healthy here. I know you're going to say, why you keep saying about the salt? Let's be healthy during this quarantine. Okay, so after that, I'm going to get my cheese and I'm gonna add my cheese to the pan and then I'm going to turn it the fire off, put some aluminum foil on top of it so the cheese can melt. You do need to turn your fire off because you don't want it to complete keep cooking because it will overcook and it will start to burn. So like I said, you wanna keep your eggs soft and you wanna keep your, um, Keep it from burning so turn up the stove off and then put the foil on top and there you have it this beautiful scrambled hash uh breakfast meal you can actually eat it for more than breakfast you can do brunch you can do it you know for a little snack but this is what i did for my children and here is the furnished product until next time like comment subscribe share and i'll see you in the next video